Hey William darling, this is Styles and Profiles again. Hey baby, how you doing? All right, I'm doing all right. I, I thought we would continue talking about our little service because you know I wanted all the Tennessee beauticians, not only Tennessee, all the surrounding counties. I said a little thing about green and yellow, black and white. I mean red and yellow, black and white. We are precious in its sight. So I wanted all. I wanted. Any likes of cosmetologists, manicures, pedicure, anybody, a cosmetician, anybody in the makeup world that keep people and help people be beautiful, give me a call, 615-977-0032. And I want to see just how many beauticians and barbers, it's not, uh, it's not the Tennessee Beautician Association no more, it's all the Tennessee Beauticians and Barbers Association. They're looking for barbers. They, Barbers, they're looking for just everybody that deal with hair, feet, nail, any parts of the body that call and, and let's see how many have been through the surrounding counties, Knoxville, anywhere in Tennessee belongs to us. Memphis. Mm -hmm. Memphis. So give us a call. So everybody just call in. Anybody want to participate, we more than happy to hear from you. I'm glad to have you. And then we want to give the address, drop me a card, 755 East Argyle, A-R-G-Y-L-E, Avenue, Apartment 208, Nashville, Tennessee, 37203. And we were also talking that we have a little service that we take care of the sick and the elderly and get them back and forth to the hospital. So if you need any transportation, call and we can talk about Getting, we have people to go out and bathe and take care of and, and just really take care of the sick and the elderly and sometimes if you're not sick, the elderly. Like if you, sometimes if you want to go to some of the surrounding counties and see some of your family members, William is a licensed truck driver and he has a license to uh, carry people around him and child. So if, if you ever you know, want to go on a little trip that's not too far, then give us a call again at 615-977-0032. And also we have a service, you know, all this, we are ticketed, don't drink and drive. So call us. If you want to go out and party all night, I used to love to party and drive, but I never did get caught, thank God and Jesus, because it's a big bad nap, plus you have to do a little time. But if you want to drink and drive, call us and let us get you there and let us get you back. We, we have a service, so call and ask us about the service and stuff. Yeah, we don't, have a safe driving yeah. service. Get you to and from safely. That's right. And we licensed and bonded, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. We're covered. That's right. Insurance wise and everything. So that's right. Just and give they, us a call. we will be more than happy to transport you in the way you need to go. Oh, and if you want to stay all night, that's fine. But however long you want to stay, all you have to do is let us know, and we'll be right back there to pick you up. As they said. A small fee will keep you free because it is a big fee downtown to pay. And then you have to do a little time in jail. I, I saw they've been showing it on TV and I know several people know that it have happened to. So we, we just have a lot of little things that we do like to serve, give back to the community in service. I said, but and, and uh we also love doing that. We love people and we love taking care of people. Yeah, we love helping. Yeah, love helping. Helping and giving back. Yeah. You know, I, doing what God wants us to do. That's right. And that's what we're here for. As I was talking to my brother this morning, Edward Jr., and he wanted to tell you, he was talking about how, you know, the people that he wanted to help, he wanted to start back ministering, you know, to people and talking to people. But it's just, you know, what I think it's, it's something when you have somebody that can take you to the doctor's office. If you don't have nobody to go in with you, can go in with you and wait until you see the doctor and bring you back home and get you safely in your home. So give us a call. And that's also if you want to go party, go out and party. We'll come and get you and get you back safely to your home. And we have 
magnificent caregivers that can come in and take care of you and give baths and feed you and take care of your apartment and do everything that I'll take care of all your needs. Mm -hmm. Clean your mm -hmm. apartment. Clean, 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 clean your apartment. Mm -hmm. Everything. And if you don't want to clean, if you don't want to clean your own ovens, we, we, your ovens can be clean for you. Don't screw up your bathrooms. You don't have to just say every every week and you don't have to keep nobody on. If you need your bathroom or your ovens or whatever part you need cleaning, clean just give floor, us. Clean your floors, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Just give us a call. Carpets, mm -hmm. everything. Everything, even can paint. Yep, even paint. <laughs> Will you keep my apartment painted ever since I've been here? This is my eighth year here. Going my ninth year, I think. And, uh, I love it here. I really do. It's a wonderful place to live. And another thing I said, and if some of you seniors that you live in your house, you don't live in your house no more, come and move into a senior living. After you have your own trash at the end of the house, I love it. it it's just really convenient. So I want to put that with the tell the beauticians and the barbers to come and give me a call at 615-977-0032. Not on at manicure, pedicure, any beauty services, masseuse, and, and I mean old and young. I want to know how many is in in, in the Nashville surround, and surrounding counties now. As I would like Mother Brandon, Mrs. Brandon, that she was the inspector, the beautician barber inspector for so long. She go to my church, and I sure wish she could drop me a card and I can give it to Mrs. Brandon to let her know that people still remember her and think and think about her. She go to Olive Missionary Baptist Church on Ewan Lane. So I wish you know sometime if you could drop a line to me and I give her, and I give her a card because she was one of the best, one of the best. Okay, well I guess we can stop now. But yeah, remember, we look forward, we look forward to hearing from y'all. That's right. Look stay forward safe. to it. This is Dorothy Petway and my son William Reed. William Reed, y'all yeah. stay blessed. Stay blessed. Bye bye. Bye. I love you. I love you, baby. Let's <laughs> start. Let's start. Ready? Hello, everybody. My name is William Reed. I've been, I'm over here visiting where my mom lives. We just left church in Mount Zion. And uh, we just come back here to, we want to talk to everybody for a while. I'll just say hello to everybody and see how everybody's doing and yeah, see how blessed day we've had. It was a blessed day. My son picked me up at 6.30 this morning. We went to Mount Zion. I said, life is God and Jesus is so good. Our Father God and His Son, Jesus. I said, I am a wonderful son I can talk to about our Father God and His Son, Jesus. We went to Pastor Walker last week. He pulled all the way back from the Old Testament and brought it on over. I said, I praise my son. So I go to church with three different sons. I, I'm with William on Sunday mornings at Mount Zion. Then I'm with uh, Deacon Reed and Deacon Petway. I'm at Deacon Petway with Oliver Baptist. And then I'm with uh, Deacon Reed and uh, beautiful Ellen at Victory. And then I'm with uh, Deacon Reed at Lake Providence Lake Missionary Providence. Baptist Church. I said, but it's been something on my mind. I want my son, William oh. Reed, to help me talk about it. I said, because sometimes when I be talking, everybody, and I don't want no music, I want this to be heard. I am a licensed cosmetologist, hairstylist, and I'm in the Tennessee Beauticians Association. And we're looking for new members. I'm with local number two. How many years, baby? 51 years, done. Oh, 51 years, and I've had a lot of fun in hair, haven't I? 51 years. And they was right there with me in all the years I have. They met a lot of my customers, and yes, they got to know a lot of my customers. And I want my son to tell the people, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, I want to know how many people in Nashville and surrounding counties, all the beauticians, the barbers, the cosmeticians, everybody that helped make this world go around and make people beautiful. And I, I just, I want a green and yellow, black and white. I just, I just don't want one. And I want you to send me a picture or either a postcard and let me know your names. If you don't want to send a picture, I don't care how old. I want to know who went to John Nave's beauty school. I, I was, uh, for why John Nave, he was giving away, he would let you be an instructor. If you come and teach in his class, he would give you free, let you be a, 
go to school to be instructor for free. So we can tell them uh, what I want. Just want everybody to, who's ever interested in, you know, who's, a, who's, a, who's been a beautician for a while or got some experience in hair, to just present themselves to her and, let, and talk. Come and talk about what they've done and the people that they've done, the places that they've been, and you know, hair shows and stuff like that. Right, Mom? That's right. And come and join the Tennessee Beautician Association, local number two. Be a part of it. If you don't want to join it, I just want to, uh, the joy of, excuse me, the joy of connecting. I just want to let the beauticians and the barbers and now they, they have, it's not only the beauticians, uh, Tennessee Beautician Association, it's the Beautician and the Barbers Association. I, that's why one of my son we even come over and talk to me. I have a speaker, a person to speak for me. A lot of people, they laugh, you know, they always say, you're not pronouncing your words correctly, guys, but it's so much fun and you can have your sons to come in. I have a, a master barber stylist, my son Nathan down to cosmetology. But I said, but William, they all can cut hair and do something with hair from the way I was in that, what way I done hair for so long. I said, I have loved it. My mother, father forced it on me. I didn't want to take it. I said, they can't make me take this, but I have really. It was $375, I think. I went to Body School of Hendrix, Body School of, Body, Body School of Cosmetology on Hawkins Street, next door to Harlem's Cab Company, over 51 years ago. So I said, I want to ask them to come and be on my show. It, it's, no, it's no charge, but I said, I want to know, I know I'm not going to ever get to know how many beauticians and barbers and kind of manicures, pedicures, everybody that's in the world of, of, of beauty, trade shows, I said, it's that, that does, that's been in a long time. I said, I just want to know a number of how many in the surrounding counties, Nashville, Tennessee, I mean, we have them up even, it's dip, uh, it's all in uh, Georgia, not Georgia, I don't know why I'm saying Georgia, but anything, anywhere in Tennessee, anywhere in Tennessee, Columbia, Tennessee, Lewisburg, Tennessee. Lewisburg, Tennessee. Yeah, uh, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Shelbyville, Tennessee. All the Knoxville, around, Tennessee. All the, all the counties. counties. And if you and we also have a, a, a on YouTube. We also on YouTube. Nice John Ferguson. I was talking to one of my uh, co uh, partners at the. He's not my partner anyway. We can go to the studio since I become a producer. It's another out. We can go in the studio anytime. We can get in there. We can talk. We have uh, John Ferguson, a counselor to help you. Mario Coleman and Jay Howard. I mean, they'll just sit down and they'll help me with anything that I need help with. And I was telling them the other night that I, this is what I want to do. I said, I want to do a show. If I just do slides, if you just send pictures and tell where you are, how long you've been a beautician or a barber. It's no charge. I said, if, if, if you want to, you can send it to Dorothy Petway, 755 East Argyle Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee, apartment 208. Nashville, Tennessee, 37203. I said, I would like for you to send me some data and let me know who you are and where you are. The joy of connecting. We have so many, I mean, it's just like a, we have an army of people that's in the hair, in the trade world, that's still doing hair. We have so many that's not doing hair, but I want to hear from everybody that I can. I said, we also, we're on YouTube. YouTube.com Styles a N D profile. Wow. Thirty sixty eight. You have to put that number in. You have to go to youtube.com styles and profiles thirty sixty eight and that'll pull my show up and you can see yourself nationwide. John Ferguson set that up that everybody at the studio we have a show on YouTube that I show go to YouTube and it's nationwide. So I want I asked my son, we we got a wonderful speaking voice. Everybody always said, William talk so proper. Tell them what you said, darling. I don't talk proper. I just pronounced my words correctly. That's right. And we've got a wonderful voice. William can sing, but he won't sing from no, William. Sing. William is a producer too, and Charles is a producer. Yes, I'm a producer. That's right. And they took the class too. I said, and it's a wonderful thing. It's something to come to uh Kneecat. 
I was telling John the other night that I tried to talk about the show, and I, I tell him, NECAT, N-E-C-A-T, Nashville Educational Community. John said, it's community, art, TV. And so I tell a lot of people that, I know it's, it's Channel 19, Comcast Cable, and I have a lot of fun. Everybody talking about me going around and talking and talking. And a lot of people, I tell my son, a lot of people said, that every time I see her, Miss Pepper, she just talk, 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 talk. But our Father God, His Son Jesus, gave me the gift of gab. I remember my preacher used to tell me one time, I said, Miss Pepper, every time I see you, you just talking, talking, talking. I said, but a lot of times when I'm talking, I'm taking up for you. <laughs> and I love this preacher, but I'm not gonna call his name. And I have to say, I have a lot of men's preachers I love, but I do love this preacher. I've been at this church for a long time. He understands me, and they always say, Miss Pepway, you got rules to follow here. But he always said, long as I'm doing something for the good. And I really want to ask everybody to come to this church and bring a pair of shoes or something for the young people and the children. The, uh, I'm with local uh, 13 in the Tennessee Beauty Association. I said, and we like to do things for young people. We'll fix their hair and do different things for them if they have a problem. You can also call me at 615-977-0032. We'll feed you, we'll clothe you, we don't give you money. Stuff like that we do not have. Just want to get together and, That's let, right. and let all the beauticians network and everybody that don't know each other get introduced to each other and just, just have a gathering. Remember, green or yellow, black or white, we are precious in his sight. So... <laughs> And I have a lot of fun with my sons. I said, I'm not lonely because I have God and Jesus in my life. And I have a very happy life. I, I have a wonderful life. I said, I have my sons are good to me. I said, and I just have a happy life. Christ, our Father God and His Son, Jesus made that for me. They always say, you don't have to say God no more. I have a lot of people that are ministers and preachers come to me. He said, well, you don't have to see, you don't have to use God no more. You don't have to leave God in the question. Do you know what, how that how got like that? Well, when I read my Bible, Jesus always tell me, the only way you can get to the Father is through Jesus, but he says, remember my Father. And he takes you back to the Old Testament. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. They talk about Dan, but they don't never want to worry about whether they're going home. So, and my son, we will come up in here, read the Bible with me and, Ch me and uh, Nathan, Deacon Petway and Deacon Rick. We read the Bible together. A lot of times I have to stay in my apartment with the Bible because we bring the Bible out downstairs sometimes. Nobody don't want to hear it. You know, because they said that I read the Bible one minute and clown the next minute. <laughs> and I have this friend that said, the reason why I clown is because it's written on my forehead. Mess with me and I curse you out. I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to let people know what our Father God and His Son Jesus have done for me. I have sons that I stopped driving. I have sons that one come and take me to one church in, at 7 a.m. Another come and take me to another church at 11 a.m. And, uh, and then I alternate. And then sometimes I go to another, another church with Ellen. I go to her church, Victory. We there at, at 8 a.m. I said, then I said, it seemed like you, when you just stop and wait on God and Jesus, he sends you angels to get you around. Every Sunday, I stay in church almost all day. Last week, I was at all the Baptist. We went, we went, uh, I went with William early that morning. And then Charles came and picked me. Deacon Reed came and picked me. He's Deacon Reed now. Oh, Deacon Reed, can you come and just say hello and then we go. Come on, Deacon Reed. Come on, say hello. Come on, Deacon Reed, say hello. Yeah, you didn't tell me Deacon Reed was over there. I I'm getting ready to go to church with Deacon Reed right now. And then we're going to get out of here. Here's Deacon Reed. Here's Deacon Reed right now. Come on, here, Angel. Look, she ain't going to come over here. Hey, Deacon Reed. Just, hey, good morning. Good morning. You gonna come and say good morning to the church? And I wish you all could see this beautiful 92 year old lady here dressed up, getting ready. Child, turn the camera on the DVD. 92. 92. Look at her. Just as pretty as she can be. Ain't that something? How you doing, beautiful? Look how pretty she is. Can you see her daughter? Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Look, she posing. I'll be 92 next month. 92, 92 next, month. next month. Avon calling and she sells Avon. And she do porn, but she would not come and do no porn for us. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a blessed one. Have a blessed I'm day. I'm blessed. <laughs> You're everything to me. You're the healer of my body. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. You're my counselor. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You're
You're my light. Yes. You're my God. Yes, Lord. Oh, you. you are my provider. Yes, so, Lord, we offer up these praises unto you. We offer them up, Lord, in humble submission. Knowing, Lord, that you can do all things but fail. Oh, Lord, I don't know about anybody else in here, but I'm so thankful that your mercy endures forever. I'm thankful, Lord, that you have given me a measure of grace that I didn't deserve. Thank you, Lord. While I was yet in my sins, you died that I may have a right to eternal life. And for this I say, thank you. I thank you, Lord, for putting a hedge around me when it seems like the enemy was about to overtake me. But Lord, your hedge protected me. And for this I say, thank you. Lord, when I felt like I wanted to give up, and I was sinking in the depths of despair, oh Lord, you've done to me like you did to your servant David. Yes, God. You lifted me up out of the muck and the mire, planted my feet on a solid foundation. And for this I say thank you. Lord, I don't know why these are your people who have gathered around the altar, because they are your people, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. They are your people. They're not mine. Yes, God. They're yours. Yeah. Lord, the only thing I can do for them is pray for them. Yes, but whatever it is that they need, Lord, you can provide it. So, Lord, whatever it is that they are seeking from you today, we ask God that you be merciful. That you be forgiving. That you be so understanding. Oh, oh, Lord, I just thank you because you're so forgiving. Even after Peter had denied you three times, you forgave me. Hallelujah. So I know, Lord, of your mercy. David says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So, Lord, we're counting on your mercy. Someone came here today with an expectation that something was going to happen. And, Lord, I feel it in the spirit right now that something is happening. Something is moving. Lord, we just say to you, any way you bless me, I will be satisfied. We pray for our speaker today. Touch him right now. Touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that the Lord is to be there? That you need. Yes. He can be everything that you need. He is an omnipresent God. He is everywhere at the same time. He is omniscient. He knows all and sees all. Glory to God. I tell you, I'm excited today. First of all, because this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm still here in it. Amen. 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 Anybody that you glad to be in the